We're joined now by Dr. Dave Lawman, our Extension Beef Cattle Specialist. Dave, we want to talk today about the continuing impacts of drought and, and how that affects cattle nutrition, specifically vitamin A. Why don't we start off with the importance of vitamin A to cattle, especially these babies that we see bouncing around yeah. here? Well, vitamin A is the most important vitamin to be concerned about in a beef cattle operation. You know, ruminant animals are unique in that they can basically manufacture most vitamins in the rumen. And, you know, non-ruminant and people don't have the capability to do that. So that's pretty interesting and, and fortunate. Vitamin A has to be supplied. Generally, it comes in the form of a leafy green forage, uh, is pigment has beta carotene, which is a precursor to vitamin A. Okay, so uh, the issue though is, so if an animal is consuming leafy green forage or green hay that's not, you know, just been harvested recently, they're probably getting plenty of vitamin A. The issue with baby calves is that uh, vitamin A does not cross the placental membranes and so they're born with, with basically no reserve of vitamin A. It has to come from mother's colostrum. So when we're in a situation like this, which it's not, it's not too green out here yet, and it, and it may not be if we don't get enough rain. Exactly. What does that mean for these new calves? Yeah, so, so the important thing is, is that mother has access to a good mineral supplement or a feed product that has added or supplemental vitamin A. If she has adequate vitamin A prior to calving, uh, she'll have plenty of vitamin A in her colostrum. Now, uh, beyond calving, because a lot of people are right in the middle of calving now, but that means that, you know, uh, breeding season is right around the corner. And so uh, vitamin A is very important in terms of fertility, getting those females to breed back early in the breeding season as well. And so uh, making sure, especially if the drought continues, uh, making sure that those animals have access to fresh mineral supplement uh, or a feed with vitamin A is critical now up for the next couple of months. And you've been getting calls from producers and veterinarians kind of mapping out this scenario given the conditions, especially yes. the western half of the state. Yeah, in particular, there's considerable concern uh, cases where uh, calves have night blindness, uh, aren't very healthy when they're born and so on. And in some of these cases when they've checked for serum vitamin A levels, they've been very low in the babies. And so that tells us that there's some of this uh, going on. And you know, Lindell, the, the key to uh, good vitamin A nutrition it probably is, is keep it fresh. Uh, unfortunately, vitamin A is not very stable in feed or mineral, and so over time it can decay in terms of its vitamin A activity. You want to protect it from the sunlight, so keep the lid on the mineral feeder, uh, not only to keep the water out, but also to keep the ultraviolet uh, uh, light out so that it, it won't decay as fast, and then, and then keep it fresh. So don't feed a mineral supplement that's laid around for a couple of years the vitamin A activity in a product like that is probably dramatically reduced. The same thing in old hay. So if it's, you know, if we're going into the drought or the spring here without a lot of forage left over, people may be having to feed two-year-old hay to kind of get them through to green grass. Well, vitamin A uh, supply or availability in that old hay is going to be next to, next to zero. And this is something in terms of management and implementation of this, to, to, do, to do now, not wait until there's an issue yeah, with a, yeah. a cow or a calf. Absolutely, you know, and, and it's, it's pretty simple, easy to fix, but you have to keep it at the top of mind. Uh, you know, don't let the mineral feeder, this time of year in particular, uh, don't let the mineral feeder go dry and, and, you know, the cattle be without for several weeks in a row. Cattle do, mature cattle have the ability to store vitamin A in their liver for two to three months. So there is some supply there in the cows. In the meantime, while we hope for more rain in the forecast, you and the team have a fact sheet available with more details. 3036 is the fact sheet number and it 
Yeah, it provides a lot of helpful details about vitamin A nutrition and beef cattle. Okay, thank you very much, Dave. And for a link to the fact sheet that Dave mentioned, just go to sunup.okstate.edu.